Hello friends, welcome to the introduction to PLSQL programming tutorial video. This is the video number one in the series of videos where I will be walking you through the various basics as well as advanced concepts of PLSQL programming. This video will only cover the introduction part of PLSQL. So let's get started. What is PLSQL? PLSQL is just the procedural extension language for SQL which means that you can use functions, procedures and other programming constructs in SQL which makes it PLSQL. Now this might sound very simple but actually adding programming features in SQL is what is PLSQL. That's it as simple as that. PLSQL is tightly coupled with SQL. It is based on ADA and Pascal programming language. The best part is that it also now supports object oriented programming features. So why do we need PLSQL? As I've already told you, we can add programming features like functions and procedures. You might be familiar with functions in C or Java or C++ if you have a bit of programming experience. You might also know about object oriented if you have some programming background. If you don't know any of these things then don't worry because we are starting from scratch. We will also be telling you how programming works and how it is applied in PLSQL. PLSQL has a lot of data types and it directly interacts with SQL as I have already told you in the previous slide. PLSQL is highly secure language as it is provided by Oracle. Let's see a basic syntax of a PLSQL program. The first clause is the declare clause followed by begin then the exception clause followed by by end at the last. Here is an example program that will help you understand a little bit better of how PLSQL works. First of all, we write the declare clause. Inside the declare clause, we declare our variables or object types. In this case, we have a variable named message and it is of type varchar2 and holds a memory space of 20 which means we can only assign varchar2 type values to this message variable here we are assigning the value which is a string and it says hello world now as you can see we have written colon equals yes that is how you assign value to any variable in plsql you might have seen only equals to but here we use colon equals let's see the begin clause in the begin clause we can see dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and we are passing this message variable now you might know or whether you know or you don't know I must tell you that in functions or procedures we have some parameters and those parameters we pass while calling those procedures or functions. Here dbms output is a package which is calling the function put line and the work of this procedure is to display whatever a string or value is it has been assigned to it. Here the message variable holds the value hello world and that is what will be displayed as output after that we just write end followed by a slash if you are using sql plus or if you are not using some ide then in case of ide you just need to write end and then followed by a semicolon let's see another example declare subtype name is char subtype message is where char2 now we can see salutation name 
now here salutation name is not the variable name here salutation is the name of the variable which is of type name if you see above we have declared subtype name is char which means if you declare a variable of type name it automatically becomes a type of char so here salutation is of type char 20 similarly greetings is of type var char 2 here we can see greetings is of type message which is of var char 2 100 in the begin clause we can see salutation equals reader and greetings equals welcome to the world of plsql again we write the same dbms output dot put line we write hello then we concatenate salutation and greetings followed by end can you guess the output of this plsql program it's very easy yes it is hello reader welcome to the world of plsql <coughs> Sorry, procedure successfully completed. But the main output here is hello reader, welcome to the world of PLSQL, right? Okay, let's see some program units of PLSQL. PLSQL block can be named or anonymous block. So if you just write normal declare, begin, exception, and end block, then that is an anonymous block but if you name it then we say it is a function or a procedure don't worry we'll be discussing more about function and procedures in our later follow-up videos as of now i'm just introducing you to the basic program units we also have package and their body where we hold the function and procedures we have trigger type and the type body well that's it for the video as it is only covering the introduction part our next agenda will be conditional statements in plsql program conditional statements means if else statements and nesting of these statements which means based on some logic we will process some sql statements we'll be covering this whole topic in our next video and we will explain it from scratch so don't worry if you don't have a programming experience and that's it for the video i think thanks for watching subscribe to our channel to get more of our plsql programming videos share this content if you like among your friends who also want to learn plsql program like if you like the video please do comment and if you have suggestions, yes, we welcome your suggestions. Always free to share this video. Thanks again for watching. Cheers.